Hello. Yesterday, we started talking about growing your influence. Now, I hope that when I spoke yesterday, you were able to pick two types of power that you are able to exert over other people. The first being positional power that you have by virtue of your position or title and personal power, which is what we're trying to grow, which is influence. That comes from people trusting you, people believing in you, and people being committed to you. If you did not get that, well, those are the two types of power. And I was able, I hope I was able to let you know that having personal power is more important than having positional power because people being committed to you will take you further than you being able to command them. Now, continuing from there, I would like to let you know that influence is multidimensional. What do I mean by multidimensional influence? It means that if you're working with personal power, with your influence, you would be able to move in any direction. When I say any direction, I mean that you need influence to make your parents decide in your favor. You also need it to make your siblings decide in your favor. You need it to make your customers decide to buy from you. You need it to make even your competitors do things to favor you. That means that you might be exerting influence over those who are above you, those who are on the same line as you, and even your subordinates, you exert some level of influence over them. So let's even look at this influence business. How do you begin to get influence and then grow it? Well, human beings have different types, multiple intelligences. And when we say multiple intelligence, You've got it right. We're going the way of psychology today. Your IQ is how you solve problems. It's just problem-solving intelligence. But there are other types of intelligence that Daniel Goleman has explained to us that we're going to be looking into this month. Of course, I won't go into details today. I'll probably just help you understand emotional intelligence and social intelligence. Emotional intelligence is understanding your own emotions and how you interact with people based on your own emotions and also being able to factor in their own emotions when you're interacting with them. Now, social intelligence is you being able to understand how people would react to you in social circumstances. So, wrapping today's video up, I would like to make you pay attention to two things. Your emotions affect how you react. And most of the times when you make decisions, you make, you make those decisions based on how you feel about that situation or about that person. The same is true for everybody. So when you're interacting with people, you need to understand how they feel as well. Basically, that is how you wield the influence over people and how you grow your influence. When you are able to tap into your own situation, know yourself. And you're also able to understand the motivations of the other person, which is emotional intelligence, and how they would react, which is social intelligence. Of course, we'll go into the details of the elements of emotional and social intelligence tomorrow. See you then. Mm -hmm.